Welcome to Lavender Town. The very eerie music plays as this as my character walks across the screen. This is so spooky. Uh So this it's not really much to explore. The only main thing would be Pokemon Tower, but I think I'll actually be getting to that in another episode. Because you have to do some stuff before this. You don't, well, you know, you can go through it and battle the trainers in there, but you can't really go on. So the, I'm just gonna, like, do the, do this in, like, order. Do what you're supposed to do. And yeah. Okay, there's the volunteer Pokemon house. That's odd, Mr. Fuji isn't here. Where'd he go? Who is Mr. Fuji? Fan magazine. Oh my god, it's gone. This is really Mr. Fuji's house. He's really kind. He looks after abandoned orphaned Pokemon. It's so warm. Pokemon are so nice to hug. So you so you hug a Psyduck. It's, it's weird. Oh my god, it's a Nidorino. These things are scary. Not as scary as when you evolve them. Hello. I am the name writer. No, I do not want to. What's in here? Hello. Those horrible rockets, they deserve no mercy. That poor Cubone's mother. Who was killed trying to escape from. Oh, oh my god. I'm so sorry. I'm tearing up right now. My god. But, I will go this way onto Route 8. Where I will do some stuff. So, yeah. Guess I'll just battle this dude. Because he has fire types. I will probably battle this little girl too. But I want to do something else first. I'm a rambling gaming dude. Well, I am a, a gaming dude too. Gamer Rich. That is the oldest man I've ever seen. And you give me intimidate, which sucks, but I do not care. And boom, you're dead. Haha. -ha. And a Vulpix. It's so adorable. Vulpix are so cute. And you're dead, Vulpix. Gamer Rich was defeated, missed the big chance. Well, yes, you did. Playing games and Pokemon are like eating peanuts. I just can't stop. Well, yes, it's the same for me, but I do not like peanuts. Let's replace that with Rice Krispie Treats or popcorn or brownies or potato chips. I don't know. But I was planning on maybe catching my... Another team member, but I have no clue if they are in this grass, so I don't know. I'm just gonna run around and see if I can find it. No, that was not it. That's what is not it either. No. Ah, yes. Here we go. Vulpix. It's just so adorable. So I, I plan on adding a Vulpix to my team because I need a really... I need a, I need a fire type. It's not that much fire types in this game. I was either choosing between having a Vulpix or a Flareon, but... I don't know. I just decided Vulpix. And yeah, Let's see what rapid spin would do.
That doesn't do that much. Okay, I, th I think I'll try to throw a Pokeball. I'm pretty sure the- No! Damn it! Okay, whatever, okay. Okay, Vulpix. Let's do this again. You are level 15, and I am level 26. Rapid Spin should do quite a bit to you. <laughs> that did nothing. No! Alright, let's try this again. Level 16, Vulpix. My god, I things keep using roar. It's annoying. Ha! But it failed! Because you fail, Vulpix. Alright, Roar failed. Come on, let's see if we can do this. One, two, three. Oh, I caught it! Awesome. When it is born, it has just become one snow white tail. The tail splits from the tip as it grows older. Okay. Vulpix will get a nickname. Let's see. This is what I named my Vulpixes. Scarlet. Even though they're like a different color when there are nine tails. Alright, sassy nature. Uh, it's not good. I don't know. I'm not a nature expert of Pokemon. But Vulpix will now be a part of my team. So that's cool. So let's try to get out of here. Oh! So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, I think that'll do it for this part. Now, in the next part, I will actually do... Uh, I'll, uh, I'll do something that is actually worth your time. So, I will see you in the next part.